Hello for Luchibus, this is Lewis the Indispensable here, and welcome back to TNT Evolution, this is map 22, Habitat. I'm going to just take care of these hit scanners behind this crate, open it again, because it was too slow. Dead you. Get the BFG out, fire off a blast, that should take care of most of the imps in this room. Now we're going to get out of here, get a BFG and a rocket launcher if you do this for pistol start, in which case then why would you do that? But Okay, good luck. <laughs> anyway, pick up the plasma over here, because maps 20 and 21 drained it all from me, we'll get it all back. Here, fight off BFG ball here, another one. Yeah, it's too late, I got it by the fucking arch rail. Okay, bye. Don't want to fight you anyway. Fucker. Kill him because I don't like freaking that revenant. Kill this guy and this guy. Now we're done with that area. Go down here. Walk through here. That, nope. Go to the very edge and I don't want to go in there full stop, let alone right now. Fire BFG shot and that's pretty much the only satisfying part of the map. Cause that imp room just would would have been satisfying if you could kill all the imps with a one BFG blast, but no you can't. Or I can't anyway. Yep, this is the pretty much the vast majority of the map, just running through tunnels. Uh, chain gun and everything. I think it's fun. Well, it's not at all. Going to run through all these rooms. Hopefully, we get the blue keep out early. No, this is just its own thing. Open up this up. Open up this. Let's eventually, come to. Shotgun area. No, I'm going back on myself here. What we're doing. I still don't get this tunnel part. I guess I haven't played Habitat that much, but still don't get the, this whole the whole ram reason for this tunnel part. Because it's not fun to play for one. Because you can just play Wolfenstein, you know. It works better in there, not in here. It just makes zero sense. Like, why you. You have to do all this crap in the first place. And there's some secrets that can only be activated by running around enough. I don't know, I still don't understand how you you lower those walls that lead to said secrets, but whatever. Here's one. Yep. We're into this other hallway. Is just is the secret. I have to do this a few more times as well. This isn't the only one. Back of the tunnels. This is one of the maps where I'm glad that auto map exists. Because you can keep track of where you've been. And yeah, and these winding tunnels, it's a good thing. To see where I've been. See a number of secrets open up and just without any. Oh no, both secrets have opened up without any like indication or anything. Secrets randomly opened up. Why? We don't have a yellow key yet. It's a dead end. Look, we got all the secrets early, so I don't have to run around like a moron. Now we're going to get to the next place we want to be, which is here, I believe. Nope. Wrong. Here we are. This place I want to be. Next. Sh 
shotgunners and run for the massive hallway. Okay, we're, we're good now. Now we can open this blue door. This is the dangerous part of the map. Aim for the arch vial. Could have killed me last time because I wasn't paying proper attention to him. And is that everyone in this room? Seems a bit too easy. Yeah, I think that is everyone. So now we've got the yellow key, we can actually leave. Also, I'd like to point out as well, two things. First thing is that you don't even need any of the keys for this map. I'm not joking. You need no keys at all. You just exit. It's like, just, just go to like the, open up the door and then jump down the elevator and then GG, you win. Also, if you didn't play this map on Nightmare, you're crazy, but also you can actually cause a bit of a you know, the, the map could crash at any time because of all the things lowering, the floors lowering and all the crazy crap. And if playing this on the original DOS the version of File Doom, I'll show you off in a sec, something to do with the outside area. There we go. Can you growling? You know what it is? Do you know what it is? Pinkies! Or spectres. Yeah, if you look in the dots, you're playing the dot, like, dots executes, but if you look over like here or something, the game it crash. It causes a biz plane overflow. I'm not doing my homework. I don't really know what a bit playing overflow is, but if you actually crash the game just by looking somewhere, then it's not good design. That's all I know. Yeah, I'm for the arch vial first. Why is it just end up resurrecting pinkies and thank you by spec? Just anything, everything that you've done worked so hard to kill. Because that file is the biggest troll of the undo button never. Now we can take this teleporter down, grab the megasphere. This is a secret, yeah. Jumping on here will end the map. That's habitat. It's a stupid map. It's dumb. The freaking tunnel parts just makes no sense. It's like it was drawn by a freaking kid just squiggling ped marks all over a piece of paper. I was like, here's his map design. It's not that much fun to play either, it's just... Those part in those tunnels, it's like the secrets is so nonsensical as well, it's just... No thought process went into this... utter mess of a map. The only good thing about this map is the music, and... That part with the pinkies, which is like just two seconds long. But you know what, this music gets used again on, on the good map later on, so... Whatever we're done with Habitat, next map is Lunar Miner Project, which is an okay map. Well, it's average I suppose, but we'll do that next time. This is Lewis Dean Spencer signing out, goodbye. <laughs>